All right, it's time to tumble some brass. I got 44 Magnum and 44 Special in here, but I also have some larger cases like 30 six, 450 Bushmaster, even a few 45 ACP cases in there. Everything's larger diameter so that we don't have a, a small case drop down inside of a big case and then it just gets all gummed up and whatnot. It's a mixture of 50% corn cob and 50% walnut. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this Hopes Brass Polish here. It's the first time I've used this brand of, of brass polish. Let's go ahead and... Well, maybe there's a seal on it. Yeah, can you tell it's the first time I've used this? I didn't even check to see if there was a seal on it. Well, it's a little bit too much. Yeah, that's way too much. Just... Okay, well, you're just supposed to sprinkle it on there. Too much isn't going to hurt it, but I'm going to take some old dryer sheets. Put them in there. Put the lid on it. Put that dryer sheet in there. And fire it up. And I'm off to run some errands, and when I get back, I should have some clean brass. Okay, it's been uh, about three hours. See, the brass is uh, nice and shiny. Oh, and these bottleneck cases. So this is the first time I've used this Hope's Brass Polish, and I uh, put a little bit too much in there, but it seems to have done the job. It also helps that I've got brand new media. It's all nice and clean and got nice sharp edges. Now, well, see, this is what I'm talking about. Smaller one got in there. And it messed up, uh, well, I mean, not really. I'm not really too worried about the insides not getting polished and cleaned out. But it's kind of why uh, it's not a good idea to mix the smaller ones with the larger ones. But it's probably a 9mm. They seem to find their way into everything. So there you go. Hope's Brass Polish. Thanks for watching.